Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today is Thursday, which means it's my Draw With Me video, and I am using the Sanguine Medicis by Conte Paris. I really, really love this shade. I'm using the Toned Tan sketchbook. It's the Spiral. It's the large one. Um, I will link all the products I'm using in the description box. I'm going to be drawing a mandrel which is an old world monkey. Um, the new world monkeys have that sort of grippy prehensile tail. Um, and this monkey is from Africa. And it's on the threatened list. It's not quite um, to the point of lost numbers where it's on the threatened or endangered but oh man so sometimes when I go to draw things and like this a very specific drawing challenge um, the what I'm doing is very monochromatic I'm just using one color for each illustration and I'm alternating between sort of all the different sanguines and the sepias and stuff I'm leaning into the brown which no surprise I love brown is it's a breathtaking, gorgeous color. Um, some animals, <laughs> this one would be one of them, that is so vibrant in real life with the colors on the face and the bum <laughs> that, um, you know, I almost feel like it's a disservice. <laughs> but it's such a fun, fun monkey and I've never, have I drawn this one before? I don't think I have. I've drawn other, other sort of apes. I've done gorillas and other things from Africa. Let's see. He's got a, a nose that's sizable. And it just looks, they look like something that, you know, a child invented an illustration kind of. I think that's kind of cool. So I'm just drawing one of those guys. So how has your week been so far? Tomorrow's Friday, which means it's coming to a close. So we have just been deep cleaning and I've been wrapping up one school year and getting all my paperwork together for another school year and it's just kind of basic stuff around here you know nothing crazy so <laughs> and that's one of our cats She's been fairly silent. I've been able to time some of my videos better where she's already laying down or I've the heating blankets going full blast on the bed and she'll just curl up on the bed. But today she wanted to be outside and I can't have my window open in case or my, my um, balcony door open because if, you know, an emergency response vehicle goes by, it's so loud. So she's having a little tantrum. She's a little mad at me. Don't be mad at me, Magpie. I love you. I'll open it in 10 minutes. <laughs> Cats. I know, he's fun, huh? He's got a bunch of, like, wild whiskers, too, that I'm going to have to sort of Create, I think, by erasing back out would be the easiest and quickest method. I'm still working on another illustration project for our kids. I'm doing a workbook, and which is good because this one is a much faster um, illustration for the month, and the other one is um, small and like more detailed. I'm just doing black and white pen and ink little illustrations. 
but to keep from getting like hand cramps and taking care of my hands that take care of all the things I need them to do. Sometimes bigger, more convoluted um, drawing challenges for a month aren't the way to go. And it's good to have months in between where they're much quicker and faster and different mediums and things to keep it spicy. The goal, you know, I'm, f I'm 42, so the goal is to keep my hands going for as long as I can so I can keep illustrating for as long as I want to. Not as long as my hands want me to, you know? There's diets and things for like arthritis where you avoid chicken and dairy and beer and all those things. Um, the only one that would be an issue for me would be cheese. Ah. I do love cheese. <laughs> when you know what you like. All right. He's kind of fun, isn't he? <laughs> I'm gonna have to finish a portion of him off camera because there's just so much fur to draw. And I think I know what I'm gonna do with this one. So what I'm gonna do with this sketchbook when I'm done, because I'm doing um, two animals on a page and I've divided this in half. You can kind of see a pencil line. So tomorrow I'll finish the other half is I'm gonna cut these in half and then I'm gonna bind them all. I'm gonna stack them all up and bind them. I have to find a binding tutorial. I'll link whichever one I go to use and maybe I'll do a video about it, about learning how to bind some of my illustrations. And then I wanna cut them in half so like you could mix and match the tops and bottoms. <laughs> Cause I think that'd be funny. Otherwise they look a lot like mug shots. And I just don't have the time to write a creative backstory of what infractions all these animals have done to warrant themselves uh, receiving mud, mug shots and stuff. So let's make sure I get all this on screen. I just thought that would be funny. Mix and match them a little bit. For interest. Creativity. I have some bookbinding supplies already that I purchased. Um, the bulk of it I purchased last year. I had some little things from previous years because I tried bookbinding. And it's very precise. When you watch creators and artists do bookbinding on YouTube. It's a very ruler heavy, um, make sure everything lines up. And I am really just slapdash with all my stuff. So I've got to be able to focus and take that level of artistry seriously so it works, you know? Otherwise, my book won't turn out very well. And I'm okay with a portion of that since this is gonna be my first book binding thing. Um, but I want it to work. <laughs> I want you to be able to flip tops and with bottoms and stuff. I think that'll be funny. So, he kinda has his knees pulled up a bit in case you're wondering what's going on with him. He's sitting kind of funny. He's got an arm over here. So, I'm trying to fill the bulk, as much of the page as possible. This is my last of the oldest sketchbooks. This one's from 2017. So it's gonna be a while before I buy another tone tan paper. Because as the date tells you, I don't use these enough. I just gravitate towards, you know, white because colors really pop a little bit more on white paper. You can really get the depth of all the hues, the shades, the tints, the full range of color on plain white paper. So. I 
a mandrel it is for Thursday. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> you know, hair goals. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.